How's it going, y'all? This is Ryan De La Garza, and here we are looking at the intro to the Desmos components. In this first video, I'm going to look specifically at the note component and the math component, because those are our two basic ones to get us rolling when you're building an activity builder. If we're looking at a Desmos screen like I have here, we have all of our components lifted, listed on the left-hand side. So like I said, I'm going to start with our note component. The note component is great for sharing text with students. Anytime you want to tell them something, have a prompt, or give them any kind of information, a note is the best way to do that. So I have a sample question that I have here, um, just a generic question you may ask a student. And so we're going to just copy this over from whatever document I have. You could do this from a Google slide, from a PDF, whatever you have your problem already on. Let's just right click, copy it. We're going to bring it into Activity Builder and right click, paste. Now you notice I had some fractions in there that got a little funky, right? My three and three eighths. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight those and I'm gonna click down my math type button in the bottom left corner. That's gonna turn this into math text. So I'm gonna delete those first two and I'm gonna put slash to get my fraction bar eight and now I have my three eighths. Left cursor over twice and now I have three and three eighths. So we'll do that same thing over here, right? Uh, again, I'm going to highlight them all, hit my math type button, delete, delete, slash eight, and then cursor over twice for three and three eighths. So here I'm asking for what is three and three eighths as a decimal. Um, something cool about uh, math, about the note that they just added in, is we now have some different pieces in here as well. So I could highlight decimal and I can bold that right here. Let's highlight it all though. Highlight decimal and hit bold, and now that's going to be a bolded word. Um, I could also italicize things as well if I really wanted to make that stand out. I don't know why it does this little funky thing right now where it's jumping around. Um, I'm wondering if eventually they'll fix that, but that's where we're at right now. I can also add hyperlinks. So if I want to say, like, um, you know, need help with this, and I can highlight this and I can make it a hyperlink. So I'm gonna add in a video right here, mix numbers to fractions, maybe you need a little bit of help with that, we're gonna come in and paste it. And now students are gonna see that as a hyperlink when they come in to check out this problem if they need some additional help. Last piece I need is my math input. So I want them to be entering in what is this number as a decimal. So let's go here, select math input, and now they can type in that math question, or not math question, but those numbers or numerical answers. I can also ask them to explain their thinking, right? How did they get that? What's the process? And I can have them show their classmates' responses. Some people are a little iffy on, do I want them to see their classmates' responses? Uh, because then they're gonna know what the answer is. That's one way of thinking, but it's also a great way, especially in asynchronous learning, uh, for students to get feedback. If they see a lot of other people with different answers in them, that's gonna make them question their thinking and come back in and try and adjust. So it can be a great tool for students to see that stuff. So let's preview and see what we have. Here, John needs 3 8 cups of sugar to make this liquid for his hummingbird feeder. What's 3 and 3 8 as a decimal, nice and bolded. Need help with this? I can click the link, jump out to my help video, and then here we go and I can type in my answer, right? Which is 3.375, right? Submit and explain right there. And that's essentially the basics on a note and a math input. That's a great way to get you started with creating, uh, creating screens in Desmos using slides that you already have. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and happy Desmosing.